Welcome to our video on how to create your first dashboard. To create a dashboard, click Open Menu and select New and click Dashboard. In the resulting Create a Dashboard dialog, click the 2x2 template and click Create. To add data, click Select a Source and navigate to Team Content, Samples, By Feature, Core, Data, Sample Data Module, and click Add. This data is from a previously uploaded file. To create a summary visualization, in the Sources panel, open Sample File Go Sales and drag Revenue onto the canvas. Resize the visualization to make it smaller. This is a really big number and we can format how it is displayed. To do that, open Fields, click the More icon beside Revenue, and select Format Data. Select Currency, and check Abbreviate, and close the dialog. We can also modify the appearance of this object. Open the Properties, and on the Visualization tab, open the Chart section and set the Title Type to No Title. In the Color section, set the Element Color to Blue 70. With the widget still selected, click Duplicate in the toolbar. Move the new widget to the right of the existing one using the guides and the Snap to Grid ability to line them up. Open Fields. Drag Quantity over Revenue to replace it. To add a column visualization, select both Product Line and Revenue and drag them onto the Maximize button in the second quadrant. To sort the bars from highest to lowest, click the More icon beside Revenue, click Sort, click Descending, and dismiss the dialog. To create a map, select both Retailer Country and Revenue, and drag them onto the third quadrant in the Maximize button. To add some AI and pattern detection capabilities, open the Visualizations panel and drag a Driver Analysis onto the Maximize button in the fourth quadrant. Drag Revenue into the Target slot. The bubbles indicate the drivers for revenue. If we mouse over the furthest bubble, we can see that the combination of quantity, product type, unit price, unit sale price, product cost, and gross profit result in a predictive strength of 85%. It is very easy to change a visualization's type. To do that, we click Change Visualization and select Spiral. The dashboard is interactive. If we click on one of the bars in the column visualization, for example, camping equipment, we can see that all the other visualizations on the dashboard are filtered by camping equipment. We can click it again to remove the filter. To add a filter widget to the dashboard, click Filters to open the filter area. Drag Retailer Type onto the All Tabs Filter area and select Department Store, Outdoor Shop, and Sports Store and click Done. Let's also add an element of time by dragging in Year
and quarter. Finally, let's rename the tab to Overview by clicking on it and selecting Edit the Title. Congratulations! You have learned how to create your first dashboard. You can save the dashboard into My Content and open it up again later. Thank you for watching this video on how to create your first dashboard. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.